This video presents a coding example for structures. So on the next slide, you'll be presented with a problem statement and a place to write your answer. So give the problem a try, and then afterwards, I will take you step by step through how to solve the problem, just in one way. There's multiple ways to solve the problems, but I'll go over one way in order to solve the problem. All right, so let's go through this problem. So we have a structure array called ST, um, and I want to sort the entire structure array based off of the contents or whatever the values are inside of my shortest field name. Um, and it's guaranteed that for a given field name, the class of everything inside of there will be the same, and then it will always be either char or double. So the first thing we need to do is we need to figure out what is our shortest field name. And so first, to do that, we have to figure out our field names. So we can use the field names function, field, field names, on our structure to get out a cell array, a vertical cell array of our field names. And then now we want to go through each of these field names and figure out what is the shortest one. And so we're trying to find the minimum length of the field names. There's many ways of doing that, but let's do it, um, let's do it by um, going through each one and comparing to see if its length is shorter than what I've already deemed to be the smallest length. And so what I mean by that is let's go ahead and just say the shortest, shortest field name is located at the first spot. It's the first field name that I have. I'm just deeming that as the one, the chosen one. And now, so let's go through each one. So for x is equal to one to the length of field names. And I wanna to check to see if the length of my field name is shorter than what I already have. So if the length of my field name curly brace x, right, because I wanna break inside of that cell array, and um, so this is a cell array, this is a cell array of field names. So I'm gonna break inside of that cell array, get out the actual field name, and so if the length of that field name is less than what I've already deemed to be my smallest one, so the length of my fn at shortest, this means I need to update my shortest. So shortest will become my x, okay? So after this loop is done, so then, so this means found something shorter, shorter, need to update. Okay, so now at the end of this, now I have the index of um, the field name that is the smallest length. So let's go ahead and just say my shortest field name, shortest field name will be my field name at shortest. Oh, shortest. Okay, so now moving on, if I want to sort my entire structure array based off of this field name, I need to get out all the values at that field name and then sort it. And so sort only works on either um, on either vectors of doubles or cell arrays of chars. Well, it works on vectors of chars as well, but that's not really useful in this sense. So if I if my values are doubles, I want to save all of them inside of a vector. If my values are chars, I want to save all of them inside of a cell array. So let's do that. So first, and since it's guaranteed that all the values at a certain field name will be the same type, let's just get out the first value at my shortest field name. So first value, value at shortest field name. So that will be my structure at my first position at my shortest field name. So shortest field name. And so since shortest field name is a variable that contains a field name, I need to wrap that in parentheses. Okay, so now I have the first value at my shortest field name. And so now I wanna say if is char first value at shortest field name, um, at shortest field name, then if that's the case, then I want all of my values to be saved inside of curly braces. So therefore, I'll say my st of all of my things dot shortest field name, I'll put them inside of curly braces. Else, meaning that it's not a char, and I guarantee that it's going to be either a char or a double, so this is saying it's a double. Let's go ahead and do the same thing 
But now instead of curly braces, let's put them in square brackets. So at the end of this, I now have either a celery of all of my values that are chars or a vector of all of my values that are doubles. So now what I want to do is I want to sort my entire structure array based off of these values. So let's go ahead and just sort these values. So sorted, and these are the indices. So this will be the sort of all of my values. And so right now I have my Right now I have my values sorted, and then also the indices that told me how I sorted those. So now I can sort my entire structure based off of how these values are sorted. So let's call it sorted st, and that'll be my st, and I'll index it at the end, the indice, in indice positions, the second output of sort. And so that's it. So this is sorting structure based on how I sorted my values. And that's it. So I, I figured out, so first I had to figure out what my shortest length was, or my, my smallest field name was. And then I had to figure out what are the contents of that field name because I, needed, I had to decide if I needed to put them in a vector or a cell array. And then I sorted them and it sorted my entire structure array based off of how I sorted those values. And that is it.